YouTube, what is going on guys? I know it's been a long time since I did my last video. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, truth is, it was just a lot of work. I think it was way more work uh, than anybody expected. It was definitely a lot more work than I expected to do all these YouTube videos between setting the multiple cameras up on different tripods and, and, um, and the slider and setting the timer for the slider and getting the DJI Ron and the gimbal going with the tracking feature and getting all these, these crazy angles with both cameras. It, it took an extra few hours each day on top of all my regular work. So, you know, an eight to 10 hour day now turned into 12 or 14 hour day. And it was just, it was, it was getting ridiculous and then editing the videos. It was, it was just, I didn't have time to do it. I work seven days a week as it is. And it was just, uh, I, was, I was killing myself. So, uh, took a little break from him, trying to get back into it. Uh, I know I got a great, uh, a lot of positive feedback from you guys last time when I was making the videos. And a lot of, <clears throat> and a lot of people asked me to keep making them. A lot of you guys wanted me to keep making the video, so trying to get back into it. Um, and for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm actually getting getting out of the shop, moving into a bigger shop. Crazy excited for it, something I've been wanting for a very long time. I've been wanting to expand my business um, and grow, and I just, I've pushed the limits of this place as much as I could, and uh, it, it, it's been time for me to get out of here. So I've been looking for a place for almost a year, found a nice place. And uh, I should be up and running by the beginning of February. So if, uh, if all goes well, crossing my fingers. So uh, yeah, be a big upgrade from that. That's what all this stuff is over here. There's a whole million boxes um, all ready to roll. It's all lighting and cabinets and toolboxes and flooring. And uh, there's a whole bunch of shit over here. So we got a lot going on. Um, but I'm going to start you guys off with this right here. Mr. Enzo. You guys remember Enzo. I'm going to start you off with this. It's a 2022 Cadillac CT4V. We're going to be doing uh, PPF on the full nose, rocker panels. So we're going to do PPF on the front bumper hood, uh, the carbon fiber canards, carbon fiber front splitter, headlights, fenders, mirror caps, rocker panels, carbon fiber side skirt extensions, the little piece on the um, on the quarter panel right here in front of the rear wheels because this is this is an impact area. It's going to get hit with a lot of rock chips. Um, and then we're going to do the carbon fiber trunk spoiler. Um, as you can see, this thing is filthy. Now, this is a brand new car. The car has four miles on it. And, hold on, hold on, hold on. There she is. Yeah, she literally has four miles on it. Um, and it is completely filthy, so we're gonna start off by doing a really good wash, decontamination, uh, and detailing, slash minor paint correction, whatever paint correction is needed. Shouldn't need much, it doesn't really look too bad. Um, even though it's all, it's pretty dirty right now. But uh, by the way, for anyone who is thinking about getting a brand new car, tell the dealership not to freaking touch it. Tell them not to wash it, don't wipe it, don't, don't peel the plastic off of it, don't do anything to it. You want it like this, you want to get it dirty, because that means that they didn't touch it. When dealerships touch it, they're inducing score marks and scratches and marring and all these defects into the paint. That's going to make my job harder, which is going to make it more expensive for you. Um, to get all those defects out. So tell them not to freaking touch anything. You'll do everything yourself. You tell them you have a guy that's gonna do everything and whatever. So, we'll tip for you. But uh, anyway, we're gonna start off with this. We're gonna start washing this. And uh, I'll take you guys through the process, through the PPF and all. And then on top of all the PPF, we're doing a uh, G-Technic ceramic coating on the paint, the wheels, the trim, uh, and the glass. So, stay tuned, enjoy the video, like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it to anybody, to everybody that you know, and uh, oh, before that, actually, let's show you this thing. This is a 2020, I think, maybe a, maybe a 19 uh, Shelby GT350. Uh, I did PPF and ceramic coating on this about two years ago. PPF on the full nose, rocker panels, doors, uh, partial quarter panels. You might be able to see the line. Yeah, you kind of see the line right there. So we really just the whole lower portion of that quarter panel is protected because that's a very prone area for rock chips. But uh, he just brought it back for uh, its annual maintenance detail. This thing was completely filthy. He's driven it back and forth to Vermont multiple times from Long Island to Vermont. Um, and he also tracks it. So there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of track guts on it, a lot of bug guts on it, a lot of rubber from the track on it. Um, overall, this thing was pretty, pretty filthy. So we cleaned it up, did a really good detail on it. Um, he just got these wheels too. So we ceramic coated these wheels to go along with the whole rest of the car. And uh, he should be picking this up tomorrow sometime. I hope because I'm running out of space and I got another car sitting outside that's getting PPF done also tomorrow. So um, anyway, he should be picking this up. This guy's got to go to the bathroom, don't you? Yeah, I know. Got to go to the got to go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna take him out. I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna start washing this and uh, take you guys through the process. Now, 
just letting you guys know I'm probably not going to be as crazy and meticulous I was with setting up all the different cameras on different all these different tripods and all these crazy angles and again it took hours and hours and hours every day just to do that stuff it, again it's you got to remember it's it's me by myself I don't have anyone help, here helping me to do this stuff so it's a ton of work on top of already doing a ton of work in here so uh, I'm gonna have the camera set up uh, I'm gonna get as many angles as I possibly can with not going nuts um, knowing me I'm probably still gonna try to go nuts because I try to strive for the best that, that I can um, I don't like mediocre I don't like settling for just settling for something um, if I'm able to do something my best I'm gonna try my best so um, but I have to be a little understanding of my time so enjoy bear with me and uh, I'm gonna try to start pumping out more videos as we get along as we go along and stay tuned for a bunch of new videos at the new place the new shop uh, it's gonna be very exciting so Enjoy, like it, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. So the caddy's all washed, it's decontaminated. I brought it inside, uh, dried it off. It's gonna, I'm gonna clay bar it next. Uh, but before I clay bar, I wanna take a look, a closer look at the paint. Um, now that it's clear and clean, I can really see what's going on here. So right off the bat, um, I see a lot of glue all over the place, a lot of adhesive all over the place. Um, you'll see a lot right here. If this freaking camera will focus. All of this is glue and adhesive left over from the, you know, that the white plastic that they put on the paint. Um, from the factory to the dealership to protect the paint during transport. Um, the problem is dealerships don't know what the hell they're doing. Uh, they peel the stuff off and they just leave this crap all over. Um, so there's glue and adhesive marks like this all over the car. Um, I see some scuffs here and there. There's a little scuff right here, which that'll, that'll polish out. You can see more glue up here. Um, some more glue here. More glue on the mirror, get some light on it. Um, so you get the idea with that. There's a lot of it, uh, adhesive and a lot of glue all over the car. Um, the paint itself isn't terrible. There are some love marks. There are some, uh, there are some scratches and swirling and a little marring and some defects. But overall, it's not bad. You can see some light stuff there. Some light marring and uh, light scratches. But all that stuff will come out with a quick one-step polish. Um, you can see some more swirls and scuffs and stuff up here. Again, it's not terrible. It's not like it needs a full freaking three-step paint correction or anything like that. Uh, a one step, a good one step polish is going to remove, I'd say, 95, if not 100% of all this stuff uh, with one or two passes. So it's really not anything uh, substantial. It's not anything to worry about or be concerned about. Um, and I know most of you are probably thinking it's a brand new car. How does all this stuff happen? Well, that's the reality of it. Uh, paint is very soft. Paint is a lot softer than I think most people really uh, have any idea about. Um, I mean, even stuff like this, I'll show you right here because I saw it before. Um, right there, you see that, those little marks right there? I know exactly what that's from. That's from dirt being on the paint, dirt, sand, debris on the paint, and then somebody, somebody closed the door by putting their hands on the paint. Now when you do that, essentially what you're doing is sanding the paint. I mean, if there's dirt and sand and debris on there and you rub it in with your hand or a microfiber or anything, um, it's gonna scratch the paint. It's gonna, it's, again, it's almost like sanding the paint at that point. So, little tip for people closing a freaking door because nobody ever knows how to do it. This, is, this car is actually perfect because these don't have gloss black pillar, pillars. So, look, right on the edge. Right on the edge. You're not even putting your, putting your finger on the face of it. Right on the edge. 
a little close. If you don't have pillars like that, if your pillars are gloss black, you're worried about getting your fingerprint on it, grab it, grab it from right here. Grab it from right there. Close it, bam, done. No fingerprints, no scratches, no bullshit. Easy, easy peasy. Little tip for all you people out there and any girlfriends watching this who are getting out of their guy's car who's a little meticulous and anal like me, well, maybe uh, take that into consideration. My girlfriend, by the way, phenomenal. She learned very quickly. Love it. She knows what to do. She knows how to close the door. Phenomenal. Love her. Anyway, um, yeah, a lot of scratches, a lot of swirls. Um, just a bunch of, uh, you know, your average, your average defects for a brand new car. Um, and stuff like this all happens mainly from the dealership. Um, again, because dealerships don't know what the hell they're doing. So, and also keep in mind, this client told the dealership not to touch it, not to wash it, don't wipe it, don't clean, don't do anything to it. And they didn't. They didn't. That's why the car was so filthy, as you saw before. Um, so even with them not doing anything, you still see how many defects are, are, are here and what I have to do to, to take care of and get rid of all this stuff. Um, wow, look at the black trim up here. Look how swirled. Oh my God. Whew. God damn. And you can see the adhesive everywhere on this thing. This freaking autofocus. You know, people rave about the autofocus on the Canon R6. That's what I'm using, the Canon R6, my camera. This freaking autofocus blows, man. Christ. But uh, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to clay it. I'm going to clay it. Uh, I'm going to get to work with polishing it. And I'll set the camera up, do a little time lapse of some stuff, do maybe do some slow motion of the, uh, of the polisher, uh, get to work, get this thing prepped and ready for PPF and then ceramic coating. But uh, I'll probably spend the rest of the day polishing this. Tomorrow morning I'll come in, um, should be all done by then. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll come in and be ready for PPF. So stay tuned and again, if you're liking the video so far, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, like, share it, and uh, just keep enjoying, thank you. Oh, 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 oh,